Good morning. It is 5 a.m. and we're just about to head out for the one and a half hour drive to Tongariro Alpine Crossing. We've just arrived to Tongariro and we thought it would be fun to do car confessionals to let you know how we're feeling pre-trek. So my descriptors are that I am excited but anxious mostly about being cold the whole time. What about you? Nervous about the wind gusts and the coming back down and staying warm because I don't like being cold. <laughs> <laughs> Same girl, same. I'd say I'm nervous about the ascents. I'm not a good climber. I'm nervous about the descent. I can go up the stairs, no problem. I think the 10 kilometer descent might just break my lower body. Well, we'll check back in and see how you're doing at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that we're taking today starts at an elevation of 1,120 meters. We are going to be starting the trek on the Soda Springs Walk, which apparently is a gradual climb on a boardwalk, so I guess we'll see. Apparently it's also meant to take about an hour and a half, so let's go. about an hour and a half of walking so they are pretty accurate we have now reached soda springs we now have a 350 meter climb thankfully it's steady and upstairs to get to south crater let's go so after the first stage i feel like we're tour de france how are we feeling we're feeling like we've over tax our body already <laughs> remember how i said this might blow my body up it's definitely gonna blow the body up but i think in terms of clothing oh. we're surprisingly naked <laughs> i think that shocked us yeah uh, well well I, I see people going by in shorts and t-shirts so i don't know what to think yeah i've like taken my jacket off and hat and it's a bit of a trick to not sweat mm-hmm Devil staircase to the South Crater Plateau. But that is not the final ascent. That is still to be made up to 
red crater, which stands at an altitude of 1,886 meters. I think that's actually only about an extra 100 meters of elevation from here. So I think we did the big climb just now. Perfect. Let's hope the next ascent is a bit gentler. <laughs> There's a crisp high five waiting for you up here. <laughs> high fives. Good job. And this is the red crater. We made it to the summit. We're at the halfway point, so we were gonna do our midway check-in. Honest reviews only. While it was a strenuous hike up to 1,886 meters, the views have been breathtaking. And you stop just to view it all the time. You don't wanna even move because there's so much to see. I didn't need breastplates. There was just so much to see, but seriously. <laughs> Strenuous climb, doable, gotta go it at your own pace. Mm -hmm. I got here mm -hmm. and I'm not broken. <laughs> and we've done it at an average pace. I've quite enjoyed it. Breathtaking views. I don't think it was actually quite as bad as I was imagining it to be, but that's probably because I really built it up in my mind and I think that's the way you want it to be. Yeah, I think the same. Honestly, I think the worst part of it was the sort of 200 meter climb up to the summit because there was quite a lot of kind of loose rock and stuff like that underfoot but the rest of it honestly was a lot better than i expected i was expecting very similar to kind of grouse mountain in vancouver where it is just a lot of steps but actually the incline is a lot more gradual and so it's much more doable and what you get rewarded with as a result is so worth it so now we are pretty much going mostly downhill for now i think we go down a little up and past some you can see ahead of us beautiful lakes. <laughs> the smell of methane in the morning. After a steep and somewhat slippery descent from the summit, we have now made it here to the Emerald Lakes.
And after the Emerald Lakes, we are now at the Blue Lake. See that? That's the car park. Nineteen point four kilometers and nearly 800 meters of up and down. We have finally completed the Tongariro Alpine Crossing. I did it! <laughs> What amazing experience. I came, I saw, and I conquered the 19.4K. Woo! So these are our final car confessions. I think that we had amazing weather. We couldn't have asked for anything better. I mean, of course it could have been a little bit warmer and like you could be walking in shorts and t-shirt, but then you might be complaining that it's too hot. We had been predicted all this wind and definitely cooler temperatures than we ended up getting. So it was very comfortable, which meant that we actually packed way too much clothing, but you know, better to be prepared than not have enough. The easiest part was actually the first half where you were climbing up because even though the descent is a very gentle decline on pretty flat terrain, it is so long and your body is already exhausted. You just want it to end, <laughs> but the views are 100% worth it, so highly... Broken bodies. <laughs> Broken bodies. Jacqueline had a really good prediction at the beginning of the day. Well, that took a lot of energy just to turn around. <laughs> I know I said something about breaking my body going up the hill, but I actually don't remember the climb right now because the views were so amazing. The descent, I will absolutely agree with everyone. My body is now broken, but it is so totally worth it. This was something that initially I was dreading, but honestly it has really taken me by surprise in a positive way. Yes, nearly 20 kilometers of walking is probably a bit too long for one day, but at the same time, what you get out of the experience in terms of what you end up seeing, what you end up experiencing, and also just the true sense of accomplishment at the end of it all, is really unparalleled. So while my body is absolutely screaming at me right now for having made it do that, then fundamentally, yeah, I'm um, happier for having done it. And certainly I think I can speak for us all when I say I'm super proud of how we all managed to get through this today. High five, everyone. Yes, high five, team high five. High <laughs>
Rachel from the future. It has been more than 24 hours since we have completed the Tongariro Alpine Crossing and we just wanted to pop in and let you know how our bodies felt today. Surprisingly, not broken. I woke up this morning, my feet were not pounding, my legs were just a little bit sore like I'd had a very good walk. I was pleasantly surprised. Like Jacqueline, I was very stiff this morning. Uh, my other sister asked how the stairs were and I said at the time we only had three small stairs but I then responded back to her after breakfast and said stairs hurt <laughs> <laughs> with an afternoon walk today in the forest um, and climbing some hills and stairs it's helped my legs feel a lot better and I'm not as stiff as I thought I would be at the end of the day yeah I agree I actually didn't really have much of an issue. At the end of the walk yesterday, my hip flexors were hurting and I'd say my knee joints were sore, but this morning I woke up totally fine. I had a feeling that my legs were going to suffer. It usually hits me around my quads and yeah, there definitely was a bit of stiffness first thing in the morning, but I think after having done a bit of a walk and just being sort of up and about and making sure I'm mobile, then yeah, certainly it feels a lot better than I expected considering what we did. So plan some light activity for the day after? Something yeah, like definitely. Yeah. And I think the wine has helped. 100%. Cheers, Cheers to us for completing this. Cheers. Congrats, Congrats everybody. We've just made it to our Airbnb and we even have this beautiful balcony and outdoor space. But understandably, we are absolutely beat. So we are gonna call it here. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>